sweep through the occupied territory of Drat, the dreaded republic of allied terrorists. You must blast your way through 20 action-packed screens. You'll be armed to the teeth with a powerful assault rifle and destructive grenades. Pick up extra firepower as you go and pulverize everything in your path. Rely on your quickness, accuracy, and savage wit to survive the fierce attacks from land, sea, and air. Wipe out the entire terrorist camp before they wipe out you. It's the ultimate test. Are you ready to dare the danger? In Cabal! Yay, from Rare and Milton Bradley. Released in 1990. This is an interesting, interesting little, little kind of game. It's originally an arcade game. Developed by the TAD Corporation, published in Japan by Taito. And the arcade game was done in North America and Europe by Fabtech. We control our commando and a third person behind you trying to destroy various enemy military bases. It was pretty innovative for its era and had modest sales success. The original arcade game came out in 1988. It's been ported to several different systems. Um, MS-DOS, Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, the Atari ST, and Amiga. It was also uh, ported to the NES, which was ported by um, Zippo Games. The quality of these ports varied based on the target system capabilities. Cabal was followed in 1990 by Blood Brothers, though the sequel had a Western theme as opposed to Cabal's Vietnam era theme. It won an award for Best Advert of the Year, uh, according to the readers of Crash Magazine. The game's success inspired many of its own Cabal clones, such as NAM 1975 and Wild Guns. Yes, Wild Guns. We can play as one or two players. Cooperatively, simultaneously, each player assumes the role of one or two unnamed commandos trying to destroy several enemy military bases. Five stages with four screens in each stage. Both players' characters are seen from behind and initially start behind a protective wall, which can get damaged and shattered by enemy fire. We have a limitless ammunition gun and a limited number of grenades to fend off enemy troops and damage the base. At the bottom of the screen, we have a counter that ticks down as we kill enemies. Eh. Once the uh, bar is gone, we move on. Graphically, eh. Music's all right. It's pretty fun though. Um, pretty fast pace. I was actually kind of surprised when I when I was first getting ready to play it and just kind of looked through it a little bit. It was a uh, it was different, but but fun. Challenging too though. Very challenging. 